Melanie, hi, thank you for joining and thank you for being a Squish Star. Thank you, it's an honor. Uh, so great to be here and chat with you, Catherine. <laughs> well, likewise, and, and I wanted to start this whole series to highlight inspiring and amazing women like yourself who are really uh, taking things into your own hands during this unique time, to say the least, and, um, and either pivoting or figuring out how to how to make sense of it all. So, uh, so I'd love to jump in and kind of let you introduce your company, Mel Mini Melanie, and uh, you know, let everybody know how, how you got started, but then how things have kind of shifted or changed for you over the past number of months. Sure. Yeah. So things have been different. Uh, Mini Melanie has been around for six years. Uh, I started the business six years ago. It's a direct to consumer bakery. Uh, we were mostly doing events, wholesale catering. So weddings, bridal showers, etc. before COVID. And we had an e-commerce presence, but it wasn't our main focus. And then in March, we quickly pivoted. And luckily we had a lot of the delivery and shipping operations in place to uh, start becoming more of a direct to consumer bakery and adding lots of products. Uh, we Our signature products is a chocolate cake truffle and our mini layer cakes. And then we added cookie cakes and cookie tins and cake pops, et cetera, for shipping nationwide. Uh, so it's been a whirlwind and really exciting and a challenge, but overall we're, we've become a much stronger brand and company from this difficult time. Yeah, and I think that, you know, for a lot of people who did not have e-commerce set into place already, that was that was a, a huge hurdle and, and a challenge, but you had some of that infrastructure already in place, correct? And then That's it was it. just adding adding more products to make it you know, a, a more robust offering for, for people to yeah. be able to get their things on their doorstep. Yes, for sure. We had been shipping the truffles only because shipping is very complicated of perishables and food. And you have to have perfect packaging and for, you know, our truffles to get to Hawaii in the middle of the summer. So slowly once um, COVID started and our business had to change in order for us to survive and not lay off any of our staff, which I'm really proud of that. Uh, we added um, different products and tested packaging and um, fleshed out our online shop. And yes, luckily, we had just redone our website in um, October 2019. So we were ready to work with our developers and um, just continue to improve on the website. That's been a huge focus of ours. And we kind of let these challenging times guide us, um, our customers feedback and the different needs. So mini Melanie is really like a one-stop celebration destination. So we have gender reveal truffles. We're doing a gender reveal on zoom. We have a, the ultimate birthday gifts, birthday cookie tins, birthday cookie cake. So all different kinds of celebrations for life's moments now, now which are many, many are done virtually. And we used to do five tier wedding cakes. Now we do petite two tier cakes, which have become very popular in the New York area for kind of last minute celebrations. We've had enough, we're gonna get married this weekend. <laughs> Let's do a virtual tasting, pick up some mini cakes and then do a small two tier cake for six people or up to 20 people. So it's been very interesting. Um, and we've been there for our customers, I think, every step of the way and creating products that work for them. Yeah. And, you know, it's important to kind of figuring out what, what those new items or those <laughs> pivot on items are going to be. Like you said, with the wedding cakes, it's, it's no longer necessary for a five tier, unless you've got a very hungry couple or somebody like myself would be very into that still, but, but scaling down and doing, doing a two tier. And, and I would imagine too, that's, it's a, you know, it's a much quicker turnaround for you as well. And you're probably able to, you know, depending on, on the, the volume of, of people getting married or needing those celebrations, uh, able to do a much quicker turnaround for those items and do a lot 
you know, maybe to your point, it, for somebody who is more last minute because they're just like, I don't know when this is going to end. Let's just yeah. get married. Can you do a cake for us? You know, if it were, hey, can you do a five tier cake for us by this weekend? You'd probably be like, no, right? Like, how much lead time would you would you have typically needed versus now? Two months versus five days. I so, mean, yeah. <laughs> we're open so, and flexible and ready um, for wedding cakes and all different celebration cakes. Since um, March, we've been doing more and more kids' cakes as well. So many kids are stuck at home, schools canceled, camps canceled, and birthday cakes have become more important than ever because you want that photo moment and you want to really, you know, bring home something special for your kid. So, Daniel Tiger, Baby Shark, I, every, every day it's a different cake in our repertoire. So we're really expanding our offerings there and connecting with customers on um, how to really make their family moments like a little bit more exciting at home. Because that's the whole thing, right? Is that we're experiencing challenging times on our ends, but life doesn't stop, right? So your, your kid's yeah. still going to have a birthday and you don't want them to, you know, feel any particular way that, it, yeah, you can't have all your friends over, or you can't, you know, do it like this, or you can't bring, you know, your treats into your class. So let's make this really special with, with a treat that's extra special. So I, I think that, you know, it obviously um, makes sense. And would you say that, that kind of uh, some of the, um, how should I put it? You know, you said you'll get requests for, for all sorts of uniquely decorated things. Is, is that something that you're kind of trend, you know, happily transitioning into and, and a, a nice challenge because it's not something that maybe you were really focusing on before? Yeah, we, we love this. Um, we have added more amazing decorators to our team for custom cookies, uh, all different custom cakes for every kind of theme. So, and custom cake pops that are individually wrapped if they're, you know, driving by a friend's house or having an outdoor park party. So um, I think this is a really nice trend and one that we want to stick with and that makes sense um, for adding to our repertoire. We'll continue to go with it and always adding more. Um, and our customers are leading the way. Like we started getting a lot of requests for um bringing a baby home from the hospital and then like the ultimate gift you send to that family the day they come home and we're doing these cookies that have the child's name on and the date that they were born so really custom work that um takes a lot of time but we're having fun with it and it's rewarding yeah and and i think that's what is is allowing certain businesses like yourself right now to really thrive the ones that are very adaptable and the ones that can create those really custom and unique experiences for people too, because it's that little extra, right? That makes it, that makes it very special for somebody who may not be having that extra special time right now, but, but they want to be able to, to celebrate that way. Um, you know, so I know you've been busy throughout this whole time, just kind of shifting and shaping and, and coming up with new things and, and doing all of the uh, shipping uh, trials. Yeah. What's, what's been something that for you personally has been kind of uh, a grounding practice or something that has been a stress relief? Is it, you know, getting out there? I think a lot of people have said like getting out there in nature. Is it listening to music or is it turning the lights off and sitting in the dark? What's, what's yeah. kind of been your saving grace? Making sure to, yeah, get outside, walk around the block because you can get so caught up with work. We're going through so many challenges with the business and maybe my top focus is marketing and I'm not a CMO. So spending a lot of time researching how to do this, how to do that. So stepping away from the computer screen or, you know, stepping away from my table at the kitchen and taking a walk, reflecting, thinking, and surrounding myself with family who's going through similar trials with their businesses as well and comparing notes and just talking about the news. 
<laughs> right. Yeah. I, and, you know, we're, we're both in, in food. Um, I think that we have an advantaged position with the kind of business that we're in because we can ship um, nationwide and, and things like that. But I think that a lot of people in, in this space in hospitality, food and beverage for restaurants are, are really having a very difficult time right now. Have you had any conversation with any, you know, uh, colleagues or friends within the space about how, how that's been for them? Or what do you kind of see as the future, the scary future of all of, of that? Well, um, at thinking it over, reading, talking to friends and restaurants, I have a background working in restaurants. Um, one of the restaurants I used to work at, Blue L Stone Barns, they've completely pivoted and changed after trying to do various things since March, uh, which is sad to see. Uh, so I think that there'll be a restaurant of the future that will start to pop up around the city that's lots of individually wrapped things and grab and go and kind of the fast casual that we were seeing before COVID, but fitted out in a different style. And, you know, the restaurants around the city that I would crave and be so excited to going to, I don't, I don't know if that's going to come back for a little bit, like home, the wall, Italian or ethnic cuisine destinations and a small space with cramped tables, like super charming places, like um, near your shop. I, I totally miss that and I, I think it's going to take some time but I've been enjoying outdoor dining when I can definitely been working more than ever but when I can I you need to go out and support and um, I think they're doing a great job taking temperature putting up plexiglass and keeping distance and wearing masks of course the waiters etc so um, that started to definitely feel safe to me and um, I'm happy to be a patron till we start to see what's working for restaurants in the long run. Right. It's just going to be a little bit of a waiting game. And, and like you said, until then, all we can do is, is just support everybody who's still in the game and, and fighting and, and here because we want to, we want to see them uh, continue to, to yeah. turn out their, their famous dishes. What would you say for, for you personally or mini Melanie, what would you say is, is your biggest win throughout your career? And that could be in any shape or form that you see fit. I think just having the guts and determination to start mini Melanie. I started it when I was in my twenties without any business know-how. Um, so that was pretty foolish probably. And I didn't know what I was getting myself into None of us ever do. <laughs> right. Uh, just just sticking with it through thick and thin and um, just, you know, having the guts to do that. I'm, I'm proud of that. And when I started Mini Melanie, you know, all my friends had office jobs or were working in restaurants still. So it was definitely a less – it was definitely a harder path to take. And um, it's really paid – off and it's interesting that during these times like you said a restaurant um might might not be open anymore but a business that uh delivers food nationwide is um so so yeah starting mini melanie has been my biggest win and it's continued to grow and change and i have a business partner as of a year and a half ago and that's my sister so that's super rewarding rewarding now we're a family sister-owned business and i get to work with my sister every day and we complement each other so combining business and pleasure as well has been a win I think that's amazing. And an added bonus that you all are able to work together and get along. I know sometimes people are like, I could never work with a sibling. So the fact that you, have, you do- We have you another do... sister. There's a third sister. Oh, <laughs> okay. Not... So, but well we, then- She, yes. she can <laughs> from the outside. <laughs> Perfect. You have your boundaries. <laughs> um, so M Melanie, thank you for, again, for being a, a, a part of this and for being- a, a squish star. I think that 
especially being able to highlight women entrepreneurs in, in the food space right now, which I think is one of those industries that has been very um, impacted in a, in a curious way. Some negatively, some have actually, like yourself, you know, just said, we're figuring it out. We're going to add items. We're going to figure out how to ship them all. We're going to make it happen. We're going to add in some added customization to really fit with the times and actually come up with things that are completely sustainable. And it's like, what other better, and well, what other better time in when you get into a pinch and you have to figure things out these things out quickly to then have that whole roadmap laid out for you for the future. And you're already set to go. It's stressful. It's not easy, but you're doing it. And that's what's, that's what's so inspiring to me. Yeah, exactly. It's made us stronger than ever and um, has solidified our path for the future. So yeah, we've, we've made the best of it and are continuing to through the holiday season and, adding more, changing more, improving. Always. So if people want to order their treats for their celebrations or for the holidays, where can people find you on all platforms and websites? Plug away. Exactly. Yeah. Minimelanie.com. Follow us on Instagram, minimelanienyc. Uh, you head right to the shop page on our website or email us with any questions or call us. We're ready and waiting to take your orders. <laughs> Amazing. And I, and I do not doubt that you, you will have any shortage of, of incoming orders for all of these celebrations to come. Melanie, thank you again for, for being a part of this. It's such a privilege. Thank you so much. Great to talk to you, Catherine. Thank you.